share your thoughts and testimony with us. Captain Kerry, uh, thank you for your time again. Uh, I know you have a very distinguished career as a 35-year captain with American Airlines and spent time in Africa training African pilots. Based on your experience training non-US pilots, why is it important for a company like Boeing to create an aircraft for pilots around the world and not just US pilots? Are there any improvements you think the FAA can make to evaluate pilot training? Boeing, Boeing's a national treasure. I worked as a kid in a machine shop on Long Island making parts for the aircraft industry. That's how I paid my way through flight training. Uh, the pilots uh, in Africa or Europe, America, we're lucky here in the United States because we have a robust military and we have a, uh, a, a pool of well-trained military pilots. We also have a, a thriving corporate and uh, commuter regional airline industry. So again, we have a, a, a constant uh, assembly line of well-trained, experienced pilots. That doesn't exist in small nations around the world like uh, Greece or Portugal or Ireland or even the United Kingdom. They have to use ab initio trainings. Uh, programs and uh, Ethiopia. When I was in Africa in 2012 and 13, I was training the presidential pilots for uh, the president of Equatorial Guinea uh, on their new Boeing 777 aircraft. And I spent a year there. And we maintained a, a relationship to use the uh, training and maintenance facilities at Ethiopian. Ethiopian has a world class maintenance and training facility. They can do overhauls on Boeing aircraft just like we do at Tulsa Tech, uh, American Airlines' largest training uh, maintenance facility in the world. Um, going forward, I'd like to see more training. When I was hired 35 years ago, we trained every six months recurrent training. Captain Sullenberger can attest to that. Now they have, the FAA has given what they call a single visit exemption, where airlines can retrain their pilots every 12 months. American Airlines happens to do nine month cycles. I think we should go back to, uh, to more training. More training leads to uh, a, a safer sky. One uh, fatality in seven billion is, uh, is, is one uh, more than uh, we need. As Captain Sullenberger said earlier, we need to prevent accidents from the factory floor to the sky, and we can do it. Thank you. Mr. Babbitt, you oversaw the FAA after the crash of the Air France Flight 447 and the Colgan Air Flight 3407. In your testimony, you mentioned our nation's system of aircraft certification has been evolving for over 60 years and must continue to evolve to improve. What are some of the improvements that FAA can make to the current certification process? And two, from your experience, are there any lessons learned that we should keep in mind as we work through the issues facing the 737 MAX? Well, thank you for the question. Uh, I, I think that what, what the FAA could do has been mentioned by several people here. You certainly are gonna need service, uh, experts in the various areas of new technology that we're seeing. <clears throat> you know, we're, we're now seeing artificial intelligence in, induced into decision-making in aircraft. Uh, and, and the data behind those needs to continue to expand. All of that takes money. So, you know, in terms of uh, subject matter experts, increasing the, you know, where we need them and anticipating that is going to be very important. Uh, as I said in my testimony, data is our friend. Um, you know, what, what we did uh, coming out of uh, 3407 or the Air France, we took that data and made changes based on it. Unfortunately, we don't have much data uh, as of today uh, for either the Lion Air or the Ethiopian accidents. We know the basics of what happened, but we don't know, uh, and our own NTSB um, will eventually look at that data and give us more information, which will provide a, a roadmap for us to, okay, we need to expand and do a better job in these areas if we're going to take the lessons learned from that data. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you both. Uh, Mr. Chair, I yield back.